So is this spelling right? No, no. No, it because, isn't. Because you have to cross out the end and, uh, and produce. You have to, you have, they crossed out the end produce. Tell me how to write the word produce. P-R-O-D-U-C-T. I mean, U-C-E. And then you have to cross out the E so you can... Um, well, what am I going to put on the end of... I, I see. Let me just... I, 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 first of all, let me shake your hand. I, you're, you're, you're obviously great. So I think it's, um, first of all, uh, I think you're telling me to put a suffix on the end of this. Do, do you understand what I'm talking about when I talk about suffixes and prefixes? Yeah, yeah. I can understand. Yeah, I need to know that. Okay, so you're wanting to build the word productive from the word produce. What, what, if, let's just check that that's reasonable. Is there a meaning connection? Because you, you're expert spellers now. You know that spelling is mainly about what words mean. It's not much to do with... It is something to do with the way you pronounce them. Yes, of course it is. But not that much. So if, they're, if these two have to be related in meaning, are they? Is there a, is there a meaning re relation between produce and productive? Yeah. Yeah, there is. If, if, we, if something produces a lot, it's productive, isn't it? So, you're obviously working with the, with the same family. So, you know that productive and produce obviously belong to each other. But we can, you, then you see there's a problem, don't you? You want to put a suffix on. And what's the suffix you've got to put on to pr produce, to make it productive? T-I-V-E. T-I-V-E. Is that really a... S no, 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 no. Oh, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. What is the real suffix? I-V-E. Yeah. Oh, it's, so that it's product. And then you add the I-V-E. Yeah. So this looks then as if it must be, tell me what you just said. Product. Uh, we're spelling, we spell, yes. P-R-O-D-U-C-T. And then you add I-V-E. Okay, well that'll make sense then, won't it? With produce we can put a suffix on the end like uh, E-D. Right, so what would that produce? Produce with ED? What was the word you would produce? Produce. Produce. Does the suffix begin with a vowel letter? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Single sign D. Look, it's just such a joy to work with a class who knows something about English spelling. Wonderful, wonderful. You, you made my day. Right. So the result produced is P R O D U C No E E D. Okay. Why is the E on the end of the suffix spelled I-V-E? Because no English word in the English language can end with a V. You must write V-E. V-E. Yes, no complete English word can end with the letter V. You must write V-E. If you do see a word that ends in V, it's either not complete, some of it's not it's been or chopped it's not off, a word. Or, it's not, or it's not an English word. They're obviously related to each other. Product, productive, and you saw very, very after a while, you saw that that was really that plus IVE. They're obviously the same family, but what's this? Isn't it a stem for produce? Produce a stem? Produce is a stem, it is. A, a stem is an already complex word that's got a base in something else, and we're going to do something more. It is, of course it is, yes. Uh, this product is the stem for that we're going to use productive. Now, if it's a stem, it means it's more than the base. So what is the base? Product. No, that's, a, that, 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 that's the whole thing. If it's a stem, it means there's the base and something else. Product isn't a base. It's a base and something else. But what is the base in product? Nothing. What? D-U-C-T. Let's see if we can build a matrix. D-U-C-T. We've already got P-R-O. Do you know any other... Do you know any other prefixes that might work here? Just to check that your theory is right, that D-U-C-T is... Do you know any other prefixes? C-O-N. I'm sure your C-O-N, D-U-C-T, is very good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> any, other pre any other prefixes we could use there? R-E. R-E. And then presumably we'd, we, we, we'd need to use that. So we've got 
product production reduction. Any more? Any fixes? Ah! <coughs> reproduction. How do we spell reproduction? Let's have a go. R-E, spell it out. R-E, P-R-O, D-U-C-T, I-O. What's the usual force of the prefix R-E? Like when you're reproducing something? Do it again. Do it again. So what's reproduction? It's producing something. Again. Again. Is D-U-C-T a free base or a bound base? Do you understand the question? Oh, I'll explain. Okay, base elements, base elements can all often be used on their own as a word, separate from all others, like chair, table, eat, think, or seal, not seal, um, um, floor, and so on, carpet. They can be used on their own. But there are some base elements that are never used on their own, but we still know what they are. For instance, the one I always think of is R U P T. And it always carries an idea of a break. And we get it in words like when a, when, a, when a volcano breaks out, it erupts. When Mr. Bowers comes and teaches in a class, he always disrupts everything. <coughs> There's always disruption. And when I come into your program, I burst in amongst it and I produce, I interrupt and so on. You can have a rupture like when a tire or muscle wall bursts or something. But, and the base R-U-P-T is not free to be used on its own. It's always inside, in other words, all part of the stem. But it's still a base. 